What's up, everybody? Jumping here. Hey, guys. I am back with the Skyrim Legendary Walkthrough. In the last episode, I really talked a lot about Necromage. It's a perk. It's amazing. You should definitely get it. And you should watch that episode because I show you how to get 100% spell absorption. A whole bunch of cool stuff. But in this episode, I am actually going to now get rid of my vampire disease. Necromage requires you to be a vampire if you want to get the benefits. But once you make like certain items and you get your 100% spell absorption, you do not need to be a vampire anymore. In fact, it actually makes the game too easy because if you are using Necromage, all the buffs that you're going to have are going to be so much stronger. And your weapons will just do like way too much damage. So now the first thing I'm going to show you is what I've done since last time. I've made me a new set of armor. So here we go. Um, let me take a look. Alrighty. So I have, yeah, there we go. I, I'm, I'm just going to drop this real quick. I don't want it. Alright, anyway. Now, so here's my new set of armor. It's ancient Nordic armor again. If you want to know where to find a set of this armor for free, you can get it at this Nordic Ruins. You can make it as well if you complete the companions. You just got to talk to that blacksmith guy. And then you can make the armor. It's like located in Daedric armor. And it requires like iron ingots, steel ingots. It's really easy to make. But if you look at Riften right now, there's a like a place just a little southeast of it. If you go into this, there's a quest there. It's called Assault on the Dragon Cult. If you go in there, you can get free sets of this ancient Nordic armor. There's like these ghosts, and there's like, quite a bit of them. You kill the ghosts, and they, and then you loot the body, and you can get a full set of ancient Nordic armor for free. So that's what I did, and I've done that now a couple times, and I'll do it multiple times until I finally complete the quest. Once you complete the quest, you can't do it anymore, so keep that in mind. But anyway, now that I've shown you where you can get this armor, I like this armor a lot. I think it looks really cool. This is what I've done. I put destruction on this with uh, stamina regeneration. I put increase my stamina and also sneaking. I put sneaking and bows do more damage, and I put bows do more damage and destruction. For the necklace, I put magic increase, sneaking increase, and I put destruction and sneaking. Now, what's cool about when you when you have a good alchemy or when you have like the good crafting from Necromage, if I put destruction cost less on three of my items, that's 99%. So that's amazing. You know, it really is. And I only do that for things that are enchanted, like weapons, like my bow, for example. If you have an enchantment on a weapon, then it will wear out really quickly. Let's go ahead and refill that up. But yeah, it will wear out really quickly if you have like a double enchantment on it. But if you have Fortify Destruction and you have 100% of that, it takes almost forever to go away. I mean, it, you can use it like a hundred or not a hundred times but like four thousand times <laughs> I don't know you could use it so much more than what you could before so that's the reason why I do like to put destruction on my outfit now if you notice one thing about my new set of armor I don't really have any like true benefits for like um I think one-handed any I don't think I have any one-handed buffs and that's because my one-handed is already really strong and one of the problems with the buffs in the game is that like for example like my helmet here 54 percent now with necromage unfortunately this is why I don't like if I look 67 percent that's how much it increases it so when you are if you're talking about like putting like a lot of fortify one-handed or fortify archery on your on your items and you're using necromage you're just too OP I mean look at that I mean imagine if I had the full set you can put I think you could put it up to four items or you could put uh, archery on four different uh, items in the game. Oh my god, it's just way too much damage. Now, another thing I did as well was I reinforced my weapons with smithing, using like my smithing potion. I mean, just look how much damage my bow does now. Same with the sword. The sword does like 300 damage. It used to do like 180, so I was able to increase that by like literally 100 attack points. Pretty crazy stuff. Alright, but anyway... I need to wait for dawn. If you want to know how to cure your vampire disease, if this is something you want to do like me, you just got to come here. Or really, the first thing is you need to talk to any innkeeper or owner of a tavern or whatever. 
ask for rumors. They'll tell you about this guy here who can cure vampire disease. And then you just talk to him. He requires a grand soul gem or a black soul gem, that is. And you can, I think you could buy one from him. So it's really not a big deal. Anyway, so now that we're here, we need to wait till dawn. So let me see. Uh, that should maybe do it. Anyway, one thing you need to know, if you want to cure your vampire disease, it's totally okay. Because you will not lose your 100% spell absorption. And any other thing that you would have got, let's say like certain perks. Now this is where it gets a little complicated, but let me go ahead and talk to him real quick. Anyway, a good example is, I guess I can show Astronaut from the Alteration Field. Okay, so I don't know if I talked about this in my one episode, but... It says it absorbs 30%. When I, when, if I'm a necromage vampire and I go for this, it's like 38% or something like that. So I get the, I get the benefit. I get the, the buff from the necromage. Once I do that, that percentage will stay forever. So that 38% will stay on there. Even if I get rid of my vampire disease, and I believe even if I get rid of my necromage, I will continue to have the 100% spell absorption. Now that goes for any other perk in the game that uh, benefits you, like, Necromage can benefit a lot of these perks, but I don't really know all that many, but let's just say, like, Magic Regeneration here, it's 25%, that will get a boost from Necromage, but see, the thing is this, because I wasn't a Necromage Vampire when I went for this, I will not get the bonus, but if I was to reset this, or promote it, whatever, and then go for it as a Necromage Vampire, I will get the bonus, so I know this is kind of confusing, it's pretty complicated to really fully understand Necromage, but I can kind of show you what I'm talking about real quick. So earlier, just a moment ago, I showed you my helmet. It's 54% more damage, right? But in my active effects, it is 67% uh, more damage. So now I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. I will, I will, I will continue to have that 60-whatever-billion uh, damage that I have. Alright, so now this guy's going to do his little speech and talk about getting rid of my, my um, evil soul or whatever with the vampire. Just got to wait for this to be over with. Alright, now it pretty much will fade out. When it comes back, I will no longer be a vampire anymore. And it takes a second, but if you look at my eyes, my eyes are not switched yet, but they will switch back. There we go. Boom. I am not a vampire anymore. So, let me show you something. If you look at my archery, it is still 67%. That will not go away unless I unequip the item. It will remain to be 67% forever. So, like, for example, the spell absorption. That will remain at 100%. And any other perk that you might go for that will give you a better bonus, you will keep it even if you're not a vampire. Now, let me show you, like, how to debuff yourself. You just simply unequipped it and re-equipped the item that gave you the buff in the first place. So now, let me take a look. It is back to normal. So, 54%. And that's pretty much it. That's it. Like, that's exactly what you can do. So, like I said, if you want to if you want to cure your vampire disease but still continue to have, like, this really ridiculous, like, um, overpowered weapons and stuff, you can, you can do that as well. You don't... Being a vampire is kind of annoying, at least to me. Like, I find it annoying. I'm trying to think. I think I, I think I have to go here. I'm looking for the... My next quest I'm going to be doing is going to be the one quest for the College of Winterhold. I just gotta find it real quick. Ah, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll come here. I, I'm 100% confident this is the place I need to go. I'll come here, and then it should update my, my quest list, and then I can select it or find it easier that way. Yeah, but being a vampire can be annoying for a lot of reasons. The main reason to me is I don't like just making myself super overpowered, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I, I do way too much damage if I, if I do that. And I don't like that. 
But the other thing that really bothers me a lot is like every time you go out in the sunlight, you get this like bright like ah, you're like blind. It's really freaking annoying. So that's one thing I really don't like. And then the final thing is um, in the daytime when you're outside, your magic doesn't really regenerate right. Your magic, your stamina, it won't regenerate, so that can be very annoying as well. Especially if you're in the middle of a battle and you really need to heal yourself with grand healing and you can't do it. Oh man, really annoying. Now I'm going to be starting Dragonborn DLC pretty soon here. But right now I'm going to actually continue the college quest line until I can get a certain spell that will help me level up my restoration. Alright, so here we go. Now I can put the quest on. It should be at the top. And there we go. Alrighty. So we have to now go ahead and... Oh, we have to loot his body. That's what it is. And take his key. Alright. Now we can go forward. Now this place is... um not too bad like we one thing you need to look out for though if you're doing there's another college quest that the guy wants you to get Dwimmer cogs I think so I really want to find some of those if possible and I'm trying to do sneaking attacks but this is not a very good place to sneak to be quite honest like because the, uh, the spiders it's just not worth it but with all my uh, buffs to sneak now I should be like just flawless when it comes down to actually being able to sneak around and not get caught that's the best part like it's super easy to sneak now but oh you know what I just thought of another big another big thing I need to do right now is get rid of Serana I cannot stand Serana yo you go away what the hell's going on here uh, I guess because it's combat or whatever alright Serana you need to leave me sorry All right, you know I don't. I'm not a fan of having someone like follow me around in this game. I really don't like that, and that's just. I mean, that's just the way it is. So, unfortunately for Serana, I don't want her on me um, or following me no more. The main problem is that if you want to do sneak attacks and stuff, which sneaking is a lot of fun in this game. That's one thing uh, you have to understand. It, sneaking is just so much fun and. If you never snuck before, believe me, you should try sneaking because it is it can be really fun, especially if you're using daggers. That is just awesome. I mean, it's just really good in general anyway. Let me go ahead and um, put on my throw voice. By the way, guys, one thing that is awesome is I actually got a new controller, finally. So now I'm actually able to use all my stuff. That's great. Alright, so we need to keep going. And there's going to be like a fall more here as well. So be careful. Yeah, that guy's on to me. Leave me alone. Always throw your voice. Like, throw voice is such a good, is a very good thing. Oh, leave me alone. Uh oh. See, see look, even, look, that's so crazy, right? Look at this. <laughs> that's how OP my sneak is right now. Like, he, he almost detected me, but he didn't. <laughs> Like, oh man, like, once you can buff your sneak enough, like, you will, like, pretty much never get caught, like, it is insane, especially if you are playing as a vampire on top of everything else, because the vampire gets a 25% better sneak, oh man, you will barely ever get caught, also, there's a, another really cool thing you can get from the um, Thieves Guild, where at the end, like, you can get a certain, like, uh, you can get like these certain powers and stuff but the oh crap I'm getting attacked but the best one that you can actually get is one that is like it's like a perk basically it's not even a power it's a perk and every time you crouch you'll go invisible that is amazing on top of everything else so like there's ways to play like a, a sneaking build that is just insane alright we got a spider up here I don't really know how sneak levels up Prop. I, I really don't know in this game like how the it really works. 
because I know you can get your sneak up by just literally sneaking into a wall. In Oblivion, it, it, the best way to level it up was to literally find someone sleeping and just kind of like walk into a wall and, I don't know, put a rubber band maybe on your controller or do something like that and just walk away. I mean, that was something you could do in Oblivion. But in this game, it seems like you get more experience for your sneak. Oh, crap. It seems like you get more if you actually... If you actually like a sneak attack the enemy, I think which way do I have to go? I think it's this way. Yeah, but you definitely do get more experience if you sneak attack the enemy. And I and I if that's the case, I don't know if, if that's based off of damage or not. All right, so we got an enemy up here. Because if it's based off of damage, then you know I I would imagine it's uh, having like times three or having times fourteen sneak attack is would level it up almost instantly it's really it's really confusing in this game how everything works when it comes to like leveling and stuff what is this all right we need to keep going though doesn't look like there's an enemy up here all right so this is the second part these dwimmer ruins they always have like three parts to them it's kind of annoying but Anyway, so I think the second part will have fall more in it, which is probably better for me because I'll be able to, I think there's way more enemies up here, so I'll be able to sneak attack multiple ones. Alright, just got to be careful not to get caught. The perks in sneak are super important because once you start getting all the perks, then it makes it so much easier because you can move like a lot faster. You can you can uh, silent roll. Silent roll is amazing. Like you move so quick and you won't be detected. All right, there should be some. Yeah, here we go. Some uh, fall more up here. Another thing I like to do too with sneaking is um, when I sneak. Generally, what I'll do is I'll actually use like my one I'll use a dagger in one hand and then detect life in the other hand that's an alteration spell if you didn't know but that spell is really good for sneaking because it's gonna allow you to know exactly where all the enemies are don't catch me don't catch me alright so and of course throw voice is the shout that you always want to use when you're sneaking it's so good alright well, I have leveled it up twice since I came here, so that's pretty cool. Alright, I don't think there's an enemy up here. The problem with, like, a bow, though, is that you don't really want to use a bow for, uh, and detect life, because it just is annoying switching from, like, the bow to detect life, back and forth, non-stop. Really stupid. What? Oh, crap, he, he's on to me. He's going to find me. I'm like, that's so funny. I'm like straight up right in the light, right out in the open, and yet he still didn't find me. I'm not interested in going in there. I'm actually not even interested in collecting these damn cogs or whatever for that one guy. That quest is so glitchy and annoying. I don't even know if I'm going to do it, to be quite honest. Like, I'm not probably going to do it for the, for the walkthrough. I think... I don't know what I'm going to do for the walkthrough. Like, that's the problem. Like, I, I, I want to show where, like, almost every side quest is in the game, but I don't want to do every side quest. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to sit here and just do every single side quest. Yeah, you're going to detect me. Just die, fool. Because there's so much stuff to do in this game. Like, it just gets so annoying. Um, And that's... And it's overwhelming as as well. Like... Like, this uh, series would be, like, 300 parts long, probably, if I did every single thing in the game. So I think I'm going to stick to, like, maybe, like, the guilds, um, college, uh, Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood, and main quest, DLC quest, all that kind of stuff. Danger quest, maybe. Because those are the ones I think that um, matters. Now, when you're sneaking, even if you're not seeing, like, certain, like, the sneak attack pop up on, on the top, like it'll, it'll say, you know, times 3 damage, times 14 damage. Even if you don't see that pop up, you're still probably getting sneak attacks. That's, I mean, as long as you're not detected and you hit an enemy, oh god, I'm already detected. Yeah, but as long as you're not detected and you hit an enemy, you're fine. Like, you, you're, you're still going to get the bonus damage. And you can pretty much tell when you're, like, you know, if you're using, like, a bow. 
Because, like, as you, can, as you can, like, tell right now, like, when I'm hitting these guys, like, normally, it's not doing all that much damage. Now, if you remember in the Dawn Guard DLC, I'm, like, literally backed up in a corner. If you remember that DLC when I was playing it, I was bitching so much about the poison from these guys. Like, the poison was absolutely ridiculous, but with 100% spell absorption, yeah, buddy, I absorb 100% of all poison attacks. Spell absorption is amazing. It just does so much. So much. Everything that's not physical, you're totally fine against. 